hardware specialist. I now have a patient. <clears throat> Your computer is going to go out to this cloud and look at everybody's database out there to see what's going on with this patient and bring all that data back together. That's the model the state's looking for. Now so you think about send that. queries to all these Every things. single thing. Now, do you want hundreds of doctors querying your computer in your office? No. No, it's going to slow it down to security issues. But that's what most of the states are doing, querying. Now, so I, let's just say querying is okay, but one doctor turns their computer off at night. Not all that data is available. The problem with the state approaches is that they've come up with this concept. It's like a Kaiser. We assume everything is working all the time. In reality, small practices, they turn their computers off when they go home. Now there's no data available. A better model is that there's a central repository. Every time you see a patient, <coughs> pieces of that data go up to a central repository and store it up there. So if your computer breaks down, you turn it off, the doctor still has access to that information. I guess where, what he's asking is, is there a standard on where that's going to be located? No. Are there going to be many? Like in terms of uh, a technical term for this would be DNS servers. There's not just one DNS server that allows people to access the internet. There's there's yes, several, right. and there's there's going to be the state. There's 56 of these for the states. So California's got three. Texas got three. Most states have one. <coughs> Wyoming and um, Wyoming, Montana have one for them, kind of combined. And they created a consortium on those communicating back and forth. Right. And again, they all got a minimum eight million dollars to twenty-two million dollars. The government gave them to set these things up. The problem again is think of it as a super highway. Great, I got the state up there, but no one can feed data in, and no one can get any data out because there's no local connections. Your best approach is to set up your own community health information exchange. You control it. And when you get it up working, you then connect into the state. So whatever the state comes up with, you'll be able to connect in with them.